Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to our channel. And you know the drill. Please like and subscribe for more content and help us grow to 100,000 subscribers. And to, today we have news on Manchester fucking United. The greatest team on earth. The best team in the fucking world. Manchester fucking United, people. And Manchester United will get the Premier League season underway, underway this evening when they face Crystal Palace. The Eagles got their own campaign off to a winning start last week when they defeated Southampton 1 0 and recorded a shock victory on their last visit to Old Trafford last season. Well, good for you because this season we are going to be, we are going to win the league, people. We are going to win the fucking league, Manchester United, people. Eh? There's still hope for us. There is fucking hope for us. It's either the Premier League or the Champions League or only Ghana goes straight out of the club. And guess what, people? Meanwhile, you know, United midfielder James Ghana has agreed to join Championship side Watford on a season-long loan. The 19-year-old becomes the latest youngster to be part of Old Trafford in such a fast-team football, following similar moves for Tom, Dylan Levitt, Martej Kovar and Aliu Traore. It is understood that Wigglesfield Town and Coventry City have both been interested in season-long loan deals for the teenager after two potential deals fell through in the last week. week. Ed Woodward has issued Manchester United transfer update ahead of season open. He has insisted that Manchester United will continue to build on the strong foundations they have laid in the transfer market, but has warned the club must be responsible in using their resources using the current climate. This guy is a fucking banker. You know one of the people letting down our team's people? Ed fucking Woodward. I hate this guy. This Manchester United Executive Vice Chairman Ed Woodward. The, the guy is a fucking former banker, people. United have identified four alternatives for Jadon Sancho. I mean, the guy is too expensive. I don't want those Liverpool fans or other people laughing at us for getting an expensive player and then coming to United. Flop, guys. United have four backup options to Jadon Sancho this summer. They have collected, collected a range of transfer gossip to bring a four-man shortlist. United failed to sign the Borussia Dortmund winger before next month's deadline. It is suggested is Myra Sar, who was actually on the market for 40 million, and also Liverpool is also interested in him. So we hope we can get him fast. Actually, we don't want a new Sadio Mane to come come back and help Liverpool. We don't want him to go to Liverpool. He should come and play for Manchester United. As Gary Neville has just said, we need someone like Ismail Assar. He serves as a good alternative to 100 million Jadon Sancho. Remember, thanks to Ismail Assar, they, he beat Liverpool his unbeaten streak. I will never forget that day. That was a happy day for Manchester United and also Arsenal, but more, more so for us because we can't stand watching Liverpool kick teams' asses, and we are just in the top four. And Liverpool are the number one club in the world right now. No, it should be Manchester fucking United people. And guess what? Today, um, my prediction is that Manchester United are going to murder, finish off Crystal Palace on that football ground. People, we are going to destroy them. We are going to destroy them on that football pitch. So my team. My, my tip is Manchester United over 2.5 goals, people, with Bruno Fernandes to score. Bruno fucking Fernandes. You got that right. He must score in this match, people. And our Rashford, he must score. So Manchester United to win versus Crystal Palace. People, please like and subscribe on my channel, people, for great, great additional content and don't forget we must kick Roy Hodgson has us that former Liverpool manager that what you get it so guys please like subscribe follow us
help us this channel grow to 100,000 subscribers.